Hello YouTubers and Airsofters, Noah Diamond here. Uh, this is my first video and it is a video on how to remove the orange tip from your Win Gun 708S. This is the uh, silver model. It's actually a stainless steel model so you have got a bit of tooling work to work with. What I'm talking about here is the 2.5 inch Win Gun 708S. Now when you get it you may be thinking, oh wow, I can just pull off the, the orange tip like every other gun. But when you do, you're going to find a big metal chunk. And it's true solid hard stainless steel. So you're going to need a few tools. Starting with, you're going to need a drill with a, with a conical bit as well as a bore bit. You're going to need a high quality iron file, coarse and fine with cutting edges and something to protect your hands, although whatever, you're, you're going to be cleaning up it afterwards anyway. Um, you're going to need the mallet. Where did I put the mallet? I think I'm sitting on it, but whatever. Hang on. That's the, that's the, that is the mallet. Big mallet. I need that. And what you're, you're going to do, well, I'm not going to lie to you, from a craftsmanship level, this is about a 7 out of 10 because it's almost entirely metalworking, and if you mess it up, you mess it up. So you got your gun ready. Remember, this only works on the on the chrome stainless steel silver model. It will not work on the blue finished or black models because the paint will show through. Now, before we begin, I must reiterate: this is actual hard stainless steel. You will need some elbow grease here. The first thing that you're going to look at when you have the pistol is that you have this unsightly orange tip. Now I put it somewhere, there it is. It comes looking like this. Okay? Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to walk you through how to make it go from that to that. I have a very fine finished all angle look. that has the true Ruger finished look. So, the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your bore bit and drill all the way down to hear it begin to squeal just a little bit. That means it's starting to come in contact with the inner barrel. At this point, back out. And the second thing that you want to do is open this up and insert a CO2 capsule. I know that sounds weird. We're drilling, but put a capsule in. Close it up. Now, you're going to want to take it and pop one shot through. That's gonna, that gas pressure will blow out any filings and prevent it from getting into the internal workings. Then put it back on to safe. Push that back so it's on safe so you don't blast yourself. Then, after you've got that done, it's going to be relatively hollow in there and the, the stainless steel will be a little ring now. You're going to take your mallet and holding it very carefully, smash it flat. So it looks kind of like a hollow point that, that's been smashed flat. At which point you're going to take your conical bit, that's this bit here, and you're going to begin drilling with a lot of elbow grease into here until you start to hear it squeal. At that point, back out and start to move it around a little bit at the edges. And finally, you're going to need your file, starting with the coarse side file it down until you get all of your tool markings off and then switch to your fine side and this is going to take about an hour now every 10 to 15 minutes take it off safe and pop it that will keep it clear don't keep it cocked or anything like that you don't want filings to get in there make sure to put it back on safe before you, re you resume working on it when you're done this is where things get a well, this is uh, important at this point. You're going to want to stir it, blast it a couple times, take out your inner cylinder, and, and take a toothbrush, most certainly one that you do not intend to use again, unless you're going to use it for gun cleaning. Get some, some spray silicone oil, heavy duty works really well, and spray it down and use that toothbrush to get everything clean. M and most importantly, that nozzle right there. Make sure that nozzle where the gas flows is clean. Brush it, shh, brush it, shh, brush it, 
should you hold the trigger and clean this little part here. This is your actuator and uh, locking tube. Finally, you can keep it clean. You can clean it by doing so, cocking it back, and then letting the hammer down. At that point, you're going to take a, 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 a cleaning rod, run it down, get, get the barrel cleaned out, flushed out, clean up against the bushing here. This is a spring-loaded bushing. You're going to get that, that pressed out, get that cleaned out. Take your assembly, put it back in, put it in place, and you should look like that. And this should give enough power to make my camera move, which it does. Good thing it wasn't actually loaded. So, to conclude, it is possible to make this look exactly like a Ruger Service 6. Very, very popular, still used, and it will be indistinguishable. One important thing, do not brandish this at this point. Do not take this out to go gaming. Don't take it anywhere unless, you know, you are going to a place where there's firearms or something of that sort, or you're going to a military simulation and have them check it out thoroughly. Because this does not look like a toy. Under no circumstances does it look anything like a toy anymore whatsoever. When you're done with your tooling, you're going to find that your cylinders and everything after they've been brushed and cleaned out that the, the ability to distinguish this between a real firearm is pretty much gone because unlike auto loaders or gas blowbacks, when it's in place, especially with its fake shells in there and gray BBs in there, it looks like you're carrying 357 Magnum hollow points. I apologize, I look at the screen, the camera, screen, the camera, screen, the camera. Oh, whatever, I'll show you. You know, you, you, you get the general point. It's a pain in the ass, but when it's done, it's done and it's worth it. And it's true, hard, stainless steel. The other thing that I'm going to have done, starting tomorrow, is I'm getting it engraved. So, do what you want to do. Have fun. Uh, please be very, very careful. Oh, and make sure that when you load it up, do not put any of these in. Do not put any of the shells in. You don't want filings getting in there. You don't want to have to clean these out, too. Furthermore, you don't accidentally want a BB in there because you might shoot something. You just don't want that. Also, make sure that you have eye protection, so on and so forth, an area that, that, you can, that, that could be cleaned up, put down a trash bag or something, um, and only use spray silicone oil for anything that, that involves a, 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 a solvent. So the seals won't deteriorate. You can pick up the the stainless steel filings, so on and so forth. And many people have also asked, can the gun be decocked? The answer is yes. It has a hammer block safety, and it cannot discharge unless the trigger is pulled. So if you cock it back, you can just ease it forward, just like that. If you want to make sure it doesn't sh doesn't shoot, if you have it cocked you're not going to be able to to open this. It's it's locked. But, ease it forward and you're set. When you're not using it, the hidden safety here blocks all functions of the trigger and the hammer. I don't recommend trying to force it. There's one thing you can be certain of. It's a very durable, very reliable, full, so solidly made pistol that is affordable and most impressively fun to shoot. Oh, and if you're shooting in a corridor, use hearing protection. I'm still recovering from that. It sounds kind of like gas going off in your ear. But anyway, this is how to get the orange tip off with a bit of sarcasm. I hope that you have enjoyed this. I hope that this helps you, and I hope I haven't been irritating. Besides, you could press stop anytime you wanted. Enjoy! And I hope to upload more. I don't know what to say. I've never ended a YouTube video because this is my first time starting one. So, later.